can I touch your beard? I can see that your beard is totally out of control. Wow. I think a good trim and a restyle is in order. What do you think about this? Brushing your beard out. Good. Just brush the beard. I will trim off the ends and then we'll start shaping it. Okay, here we go. So let's take off some of this length here. Trimmers, the beard trimmers, to actually get a precise cut down into that kind of shape that we're after. I'm going to be using a beard oil. Just apply it to your beard. really rubbing it in and it just gives you that texture without the stiffness of like gel or hairspray hello there welcome to the salon how can i help you today oh yes well can i touch a bit can see that your beard is totally out of control. Wow. It's in really good condition though. How long have you been growing it for? That's amazing. Oh wow, it feels so soft. Do you use any particular products on it or anything? I see. Well, Well, I think a good trim and a restyle is in order. What do you think? Yeah, well, there's a lot of different things that we can do. Um, actually, if you can just take a seat, I'll uh, fetch my magazine and uh, maybe we can decide on a style together. Would that be okay? Wonderful. Yes, get I'll go grab my magazine. So, we do have a few styles. Um, I'm guessing that you want to keep your beard and not remove it completely, right? Right. Well, there are a couple of styles in here. Well, this one is a little bit of a small picture. Hopefully the... Uh, it's clear enough. We could just round off the beard and make it kind of uniformed in that way, like this guy here. His beard is about the same thickness as yours, but it's more like rounded and like a round shape, and then he's kept like the mustache kind of bit there, which I think will look really nice on you. Yes, but because your beard is just such a beautiful colour, I think we should show it off a bit more. And I've got a really good picture here. I thought about it as soon as you walked in. Take it with a pinch of salt, because this is obviously like a really dramatic um, style, because this guy's got like matching hair. But just think about the shape. What do you think about this? <laughs> yes. It's really dramatic, isn't it? So this guy here, the beard again is the same thickness as yours but can you see like the shape it's kind of like triangular it like goes down into this point down at the bottom and then it like flicks out the sides just flicks out and I think that 
that's just so bold and super brave. And I think you could totally pull it off. Yeah, well, you can see his sideburns have kind of grown. It's because his hair is just so extra. <laughs> you kind of need that uh, go between between beard and hair. Otherwise, it's like here's the hair, here's the beard, and there's like nothing in between. So I think that's why they've done that for him. But what do you think? I think because you're kind of similarly coloured. I think this will work really well on you. Are you feeling brave? <laughs> Alright, well let's go for that then. So, I think we're going to start by brushing your beard out. You have like quite a lot of length here. I, it's amazing, no, no, no. It's really lovely. So we're going to start by brushing it out first of all, just to get rid of any knots, any tangles. I can then see what I'm working with fully. This really nice beard comb. Now, what side shall I use for you? Let's use the wide tooth comb first. Good. Just brush. Brush it out. Have a little couple of knots there. So I haven't seen you around here. Are you new in the area? Oh, that's great. So I might be seeing you some more. friendly salon here. So we cater to all types. We like to be challenged in our work. So if you have a hairstyle in mind or anything this small little more narrow tooth comb here just to really get in the beard fully. Get out all of those little knots there. It looks really nice just like this just all brushed out. Alright. Perfect. So now that we've brushed your beard out, I can see that you've got these kind of little straggly ends at the bottom. So I'm going to tidy those up for you because they're kind of really reaching down, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. And it's not a good look. The wispy little bits at the, uh, the bottom of like men's beards, you can just tell that they need a trim. And maybe it's just the stylist in me. Drives me insane. <laughs> Whenever I see uh, these little wispy bits, I'm like, just want to pull my scissors out and trim them. <laughs> so we'll neaten up the uh, the bottom first. And honestly, I think I'm gonna leave the length as it is. It just looks really great, and I think it's going to really complement 
that shape. So I will trim off the ends and then we'll start shaping it, okay? Perfect. Okay, here we go. So let's take off some of this length here. really great when it's done. So you said you moved to the area. Yeah, what part of town are you living in? Oh, I know the place right near the park. That's amazing. You must love it there. Oh. Yeah, there's some great views from that building. Do you overlook the park? Have you been there long? Just moved in. Oh, well. I remember moving house and it was so stressful. Just boxes everywhere and then even when you think you've unpacked, just one random box, you just find it and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> and then it's got some stuff in it which you didn't even realise that you had. And it's been sitting forgotten about in your house and you're like, I think I should just donate that to charity. <laughs> but that's amazing though. Those apartments are just super luxury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, who do I know that's got one of those? Hmm, I can't think of anybody I know. I mean, you could try on Facebook sales. It seems like a really specific thing. Yeah, I've never come across one either. But I suppose if you've got specific tastes, then uh, I'm sure somebody out there has got what you need. <laughs> and what about work? Where do you work? Oh, that's amazing. Working from home, I'd love to be able to work from home. I mean, working at the salon, I love meeting people and, you know, chatting and stuff like that. But sometimes it would just be nice if I could just roll out of bed, stay in my pyjamas all day and just work on a computer or something, you know? <laughs> Is that sort of what you do <laughs> without the pyjamas? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So do you, with that job then, do you work like unsociable hours? Do you have to like make sure, um, you know, time zones and stuff like that? I imagine that your clientele are all over the world, right? Uh huh. Oh, I see. Well, that kind of makes it a bit awkward, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. It sounds like fun anyway, so I wouldn't mind getting up at the crack of dawn or the middle of the night for that. Oh, your beard. It, this is looking so nice. So nice. It just goes to show how just tidying something up makes your whole features look so much more put together, so much neater. I remember when I grew my hair, it was just like, well, it came down to like here, and I was so happy because I'd been wanting to grow my hair for like the past 10 years. So I was so happy with it. And then I realised that it was just such a pain to keep styling every day, you know? And the more I didn't style it, the more it kind of just hung on my head and made me just look really drab and washed out. So I chopped it all off. <laughs> and it was the best thing I ever did, honestly. Having short hair not only saves you a bunch of time in the mornings, but I think it just totally transforms your face. Like, I don't know, for me personally, I have one of those like 
square jaws. <laughs> so I feel like shorter hair suits me better. And so we are just trimming off the last little bits. Oh, this is looking so good. How does that look so far to you? Yeah, I think just a tiny bit there and here. Okay. So that's it all trimmed up. Now I'm going to use the um, trimmers, the beard trimmers, to actually get a precise cut down into that kind of shape that we're after. I'm not going to take off too much on the sides and the ends. I really just want that super crisp line and then we can start to kind of like um, style it out. Okay, so what? Let's take this card off, don't need that. Switch it on. I think that's all I'm going to do. I trimmed up your sideburns whilst I was there because, um, like I say, we don't want that kind of bushy sideburn and the beard as well. So that's the shape. Now, let me just, I'm going to just take a good feel of it now. Okay. Don't simply take any more of the actual body of it. I think it looks just really great. Okay. So I think now we can start styling it. I think then we'll see where we need to trim and where we need to uh, leave well really busy outside today. Did you have trouble finding the place? I know the traffic on that road can be a nightmare. I have been late for work so many times because of that stupid road. I really wish they'd change it from a one-way into a two-way because it just causes so much disruption. Anyway, let me get some styling products and we'll start styling your beard. First of all, I'm going to be using a beard oil just to put the moisture back into your beard before we start styling. It's a little bit on the dry side, but honestly, don't worry, you look after it very, very well, so uh, we don't need too much. It also puts like a nice gloss onto the beard as well. We only need about four drops. I into my hands and just apply it to your beard, really rubbing it in. Making sure it's all absorbed into the hair. It's really good. Oh, it feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll give you a little beard massage actually. Massage, I should say. <laughs> so, have you tried that uh, restaurant just down the road? Yeah, it's 
the uh, really posh place. Yeah, I had, uh, well, it wasn't a date. I was kind of hoodwinked into it, but I went there once and uh, the food was really nice. Just a bit average actually for the price of it, but uh, it was a nice atmosphere. So I'd recommend it if you, uh, if you are looking for somewhere special. The oil all nice in your beard. Good. Because I'm actually going to use the brush again, the comb I should say. Just make sure that's like evenly distributed into your beard. Just a little comb out. Has totally transformed it. Wow. Yeah, we sell that stuff. Um, it's called uh, Golden, Golden, Golden Beard Oil by Fitzjohn. Yeah, it's a it's a indie brand, like an independent brand. Um, apply lavishly after bathing adds a shine to hair. So, and it smells really nice too. Uh, bergamot musk and a little bit of uh, oh, I can't really detect an undertone anyway it's really nice <laughs> yeah we sell that I think a little bottle like that is about five pounds do you want me to uh, put one aside for you all right that's great so now I am going to get some of this styling lotion. This one is a really lightweight, like, um, it's like a texturized putty slash gel. It's like a mixture between the two, so it doesn't like set super hard, so you can't move your beard or your hair um, around if you want to just sort of like, you know, restyle it or zhuzh it up. But it gives you that flexibility, which is really nice. I use this on all of my clients, both male and female, and it just gives you that texture without the stiffness of like gel or hairspray. So what you do is you rub it all in the hair, all over. Just rub it in there, it doesn't matter about any styling at the moment, you just want to coat all the hair in this wax, like pomade, it's more of a pomade than anything, just make sure it's all in the beard, do this concentrated face whenever I'm doing this. I kind of go into my own little world and um, <laughs> it's weird. I, I'm sure my face looks like one of those, you know, bitchy resting faces. I'm just like... <laughs> and my colleagues here say like I'm the least chatty hairdresser ever because I just focus too much on my job. I haven't even asked you if you're going on holiday this year. <laughs> Which is the standard hairdressing uh, question, right? Are you going on holiday this year? <laughs> oh, you are? No way! Well, that sounds like an amazing trip. How long are you going for? Oh, you'll, you'll love it. I went there uh, a few years back. I only stayed a week and it just wasn't long enough. There was just so much to do and so much to see. So I think two weeks, definitely enough time. So that's all the uh, wax in your beard. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to be 
styling it. So we're going to go straight down and straight out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this is looking great. Your beard behaves so well. That's very lucky. I have clients that come in here and their boob boobs, <laughs> their beards, <laughs> their beards are so unruly. I have to fight to get it to, like, shape in a certain way. And then they come back in, like, two weeks' time for, like, a trim. And it's like, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done to my work? But it's not their fault. It's just genetics. Some people are lucky. Some people aren't. You're the lucky one. spending a lot of time doing this styling and it's a tip that I'll send you home with to kind of train your beard into this into the shape you need to kind of like manipulate it like this every day uh, similar but not the same I had the same with my eyebrows <laughs> This eyebrow kind of like shoots up, it grows up. There's nothing I can do about it, it's genetic. But I put Vaseline on it every single night to kind of train it to grow that way, instead of directly upwards. So I would recommend you to put on this beard uh, pomade, like pretty much every day. You can also do it at night as well, yes, um, just to train the uh, beard to grow in that particular way. It's not an exact science and it's not perfect, it doesn't work every time, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay. going into concentration mode again, sorry. <laughs> but it's just looking so good. Great. <laughs> Alright. I think that's kind of you done. Now have a look in the mirror and see what you think. I can take off any length, I can restyle, we can change it all together if you don't like it. You do? Oh, that's brilliant. Well, it suits you so well. Yeah. Hair? Um, well, I actually do have uh, another appointment coming in in about 10 minutes, so I probably don't have time for your hair, but you can schedule an appointment with the uh, receptionist for, um, I think I'm free tomorrow morning, so, yeah, of course. Oh, well, it's lovely to, to meet you, and uh, hopefully I'll see you around, seeing as you've uh, moved into the area and all. <laughs> All right, well, you look fabulous, and uh, it's been a pleasure to work on this beautiful beard of yours. And I look forward to uh, seeing you for your haircut. <laughs> All right, yeah, you take care. Bye-bye.